In this video, I'm going to look at how you can draw a ray diagram for a converging lens acting as a magnifying glass. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in the principal axis, which is a horizontal line, and I'm going to do that on top of the squares on the squared paper. The next thing that I'm going to do with a magnifying glass ray diagram, there is you need lots of space before the lens. So to make sure that I don't run out of space, I'm going to mark on the focal length of the lens quite far over on the bit of paper. So I'm going to mark that as the focus with an F. And then here it's telling me that the focus is five centimetres away from the lens. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five back. And then in this position, I'm going to draw in the lens. And I'm going to put the arrowheads on the end of the lens to indicate that it is a converging or convex lens shaped like that. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to draw in my object, which says it is a 1.5 centimetre object placed two centimetres away. So I'm going to count one, two centimetres back from the lens and draw in my object, which is going to be one and a half centimetres high. And like in my previous video, I'm going to draw an arrowhead to show which way up the object is. And I'm going to label that as the object. So as this is a converging lens, then I can draw in my special uh, rays to work out how the image is formed. So the first one of those goes horizontally from the top of the object till it hits the lens. And then that ray, with an arrow to show it's a real ray, refracts so that it goes through the focus of the lens, which I can do by drawing in like that. Put an arrow on again to show the direction it's going in. And my second uh, special ray is the one that goes through the centre of the lens and <coughs> I can draw that in because I remember the one going through the very centre, starting from the top of the object through the very centre of the end, lens, is not refracted at all, so just keeps going in a straight line, so I can draw that in like that. And where those rays cross will be where the, oh no, the rays don't cross. That tells me that I can't be getting a real image formed, which means I'm going to need to add in an eye over here. It's gone off the side of the page a bit. If I can draw in my eye over here. And then, as these real rays didn't cross, I'm going to have to add in virtual rays. So to do the virtual rays, we have to remember that our brain is a bit stupid and thinks that the light rays have always gone in a straight line. So I line up my ruler with the light ray after it's passed through the lens and then I add in dotted lines going back in the same direction, something like that. And then I do the same thing, line up the ruler with this real ray after it has gone through the lens and then I need to add in my dotted virtual ray going backwards and where those rays cross is where the tip of the arrowhead of the image is going to be formed so I can now put my ruler and draw my image coming up from the principal axis to where those virtual rays cross and then I can label that as my image. And looking at my image, I can see that it is an enlarged image, that the, it is the correct way up, which I can describe as upright. And because it involved virtual rays crossing, I know that it is a virtual image. If I wanted to calculate the magnification, I could measure the height of the image and divide it by the height of the object, like I did in the earlier video. So there you are, 
That's how to draw the ray diagram for a converging lens acting as a magnifying glass.